Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so, uh, before we head out there to see what's waiting for us, um, yeah, I've, uh, I ended up having to go back to, uh, Olaf at the, te at the, uh, Halls of Justice, the Temple of Tear, uh, to remove the, st the strength decrease for some reason, so I did that, and while I was there I sold off all my access equipment. Um, but as you can see, I've got a bit of a different setup in terms of my equipment, I've got my gargoyle boots on, um, uh, they'll be on for a bit, a little while here. Uh, the Cloak of Fortification, I'm basically buffing up my Fortitude as much as I possibly can. And right now I've got 29, so I should be able to withstand any spell that's thrown at me by the creature that's through this door, or from uh, <coughs> any other boss fights coming up. Alright, let's, uh... Hmm, should I buff up here and just go outside, or what? Um, yeah, let's use a Potion of Invisibility so you can see what we're going up against. Yes, a half dragon Balor. <laughs> this is going to be a rather. He's much tougher than the other guys. All right, let's uh, you know, all across the board. I guess I don't need a bark skin because I'm using the stone skin. But, uh, endurance, strength, stone skin, and potion of speed, and let's do this. Power attack on. Right. Let's do it. Whatever gods you work my weapon will not suffer. As soon as he uses, unleashes that instant death spell, and I believe that's... This is actually one of those... This instant death spell you cannot... is not actually covered by that death guard belt. I was wondering why I was still getting killed by it, but yeah, since he's used it, let's put the other stuff on. Mental resistance and the other cloak. I'm leaving the uh, cargo boots on just because of the... Uh, the... Uh, Armor bonus. But even gives it gives it to me. Uh, you know, bits of speed then, since I don't need the stone skin anymore. Don't have to worry about uh, potions of speed anymore. Oh, hello. Whoa. What are we doing? Okay, it's on there. <laughs> Hit him there, kill him. Not that big boy, not a potion of bless. Now just free buff. My weapon six. No, I don't think that does the <laughs> you see it's the potion of eight that does that. Oh, my God. 
on the My weapon will not serve here. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Encircling scale, dark vision, immunity to poison. Unfortunately, I have no use for that. Alrighty, um, let's rest, shall we? Um, actually, let's put the other stuff on. And that we will need the fortitude again very shortly. And where's that cloak? All right, let's rest. Alright, we're officially less than 1,000 experience until level 17. Alright, the reason why I'm resting out here is because you cannot rest as soon as you go through that portal. So let's uh, make sure these potions are all topped up here. Yeah, probably go around like this then. Alright. Um, anything else? Nope. Alright, let's go. Alright. Take number two. <laughs> this battle coming up is rather tricky, so yeah, I've got my stuff equipped here. Um, Alright, let's do this. Well, well, well. You! I am not surprised to see you here. You have become quite the thorn in Margram's side. Though he would never admit it, I believe you have impressed him with your accomplishments. I, however, am not too proud to admit my respect for you. You have thwarted us at almost every turn. Yet in the end, Morag's will cannot be denied. If you surrender, I will let you live. I was about to make you the same offer, though I suspect Margram would rather sacrifice you to his new queen. Morag is a voracious mistress. It seems there are never enough dead to satisfy her hunger. Is that why you kill the innocent of Neverwinter? You dare call these people innocent? The citizens of Neverwinter screamed for Benthic's death, and Lord Nasher gave it to them! His blood is on their hands! We are all guilty here, and we are all deserving of death! Is that why you destroyed Neverwinter? Out of a perverted sense of justice? Justice? There is no such thing. I came here for vengeance, but I am not responsible for Neverwinter's fall. My position at the head of the armies only hastened the inevitable end. Neverwinter was doomed as soon as Margram unleashed the Wailing Death. Can you not feel it in the air? An evil cloud covers the city, the shadow of Morag. The Queen of the Old Ones has awakened, and none shall survive her coming. Morag is just using you, Arabeth. She'll kill you as soon as you've served her purpose. I am no blind fool like Margrim. I know Morag will betray me. In fact, I'm counting on it. I deserve death for what I have done. But when I die, I will have the satisfaction of knowing Neverwinter was made to pay for what happened to Fenthic. There is nothing more to say. It is too late for words. We must settle this in blood! All right, when you go to buff up for this battle, it's a rather challenging one, but do not use the Potion of Bull's Strength. Um, if you remember in Chapter 2, when she gave us, gave her, gave me her ring, this is where it comes in. This could literally mean the difference between life and death for her. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, if you do not have this, well, I wish you luck, because you better have a good Persuade check, so... Uh, Alright, um, yeah, she's got the death spell that the Balors have, so, uh, hopefully I'll survive it. Let's do this! Start. I will not be using the, uh, Rod of the Ghost. And there we go. Alright, put the other stuff on. 5, 8, F12. Let's do this. He is, just stay in front of her. Ah, get out of there, get out of there. Stay away from that trap. It's deadly. Yeah. 
Hey. Let's wait for that trap to die off. Wow, does that spell ever take a long time to wear off? All right. She yields. You have come far since our first meeting. I can no longer stand against you. Had Morag foreseen how powerful you would become, perhaps she would have chosen you to be her champion, instead of turning her lidless eye in my direction. I would never bow down to the Queen of the Old Ones. I suppose that is true. You have the strength of your convictions, something I lost long ago. Tell me, how can you go on, knowing you fight for a city that is doomed to fall when the Old Ones return? I still believe Neverwinter can be saved. I have seen the future in my dreams. Neverwinter will vanish in a blaze of flame when the Old Ones are reborn. It is inevitable. There is still hope. Hope? <laughs> All hope within my heart perished with Benthic. He was taken from me, the light of my life, and I was left alone in the empty darkness. How did you come to this, Erebeth? Surely there is more to it than Fenthic's death. Is the execution of my lover not justification enough for what I have become? They say I betrayed Neverwinter, but Neverwinter betrayed Fenthic first. With Fenthic's death, I lost more than a lover. He was a devoted servant of both Tyr and Neverwinter, and I saw how his devotion was repaid. How could I believe in a god who allowed such an atrocity? How could I serve a city so mercilessly cruel? When Fenthic was executed, I lost my lover, my faith, my loyalty. Everything I believed in crumbled around me. It sounds like you're just, you're trying to justify what you did. I, I am simply telling you what happened. How I, how I came to break my vows and betray all that I stood for. It is not too late, Arabeth. There is still a chance to make things right. Look around you. Look at the death and destruction I have brought to Neverwinter. I can never make up for this. And I have been too long under Morag's power. The Queen has a, a hold on me. I could not stand with you against her, even if... even if I wanted to. I cannot help the city. Your knowledge of the Luskan forces could save hundreds of lives. I could bring my information to Lord Nasher and Erin Gend, true, but it would not be enough to turn the tide of the battle. Morag's power will bring victory to the Luskan troops. Perhaps a few hundred lives could be saved, though the city would still fall. But what will that avail me? Lord Nasher would still have me executed for what I have done. You would do this to save the people of Neverwinter, not to save yourself. I should sacrifice myself for the sake of the people who demanded Fenthic's blood? Do you really believe me capable of so selfless an act? Once I would have gladly sacrificed myself for this city. But I have changed. I am no longer the Erebeth you knew. Now I walk a different path. The woman who gave me this ring would not have said such a thing. You... you kept my ring? After my betrayal? After all the death and misery I have brought to you and the city? But... but why? To remember you as you once were, Erebeth, and in the hopes you would one day remember yourself. I... I am not who I once was. I... I cannot. It would not be possible. I cannot go back. Not after what I have done. Then go forward. Leave your hate and vengeance behind. Your words are... Wise. Perhaps... Perhaps I can set aside my hatred. If I... If I turn myself over to Lord Nasher for execution, many lives may yet be saved. At least... At least then my own death would have some meaning. But you... You will have to trust me in this. Margram waits for you behind this door. You must face him now. Time is of the essence. But I dare not accompany you, for fear I will fall once again under Morag's spell. Do you trust me enough to let me go if I vow to surrender myself to Lord Nasha? Can you take that risk? I trust you to do what is right, Erebeth. Then I shall leave Margram to you, and I... 
I shall deliver myself to Lord Nasher and tell him what I know of the Luskan troop movements. If we are lucky, my information may help some of Neverwinter's citizens escape with their lives. And I, I will submit to Lord Nasher's judgment, whatever the consequences may be. I am grateful to you for this. This chance to... to do what is right. I wanted you to know that before I go, in case... in case Lord Nasher has me executed before you return. Go to meet your fate with honor, Lady Erebeth. Lady Erebeth? It has been a long time since anyone called me that. Thank you. I must go to Lord Nasher now. While my resolve is still strong, you must... Oh, come on! Yeah, that part of the game, the first time I saw it, wow, I was actually, I actually had tears in my eyes, just the emotion, oh. But, 500 experience for not killing her, awesome, which means we got 500, well, we got less than 500 till level 17, which means I will probably have to wait until next time, and then we've got to go face Mogram. Oh boy. This is Sirak1983 signing off, thank you for watching, and have a good one.